Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a little bit shorter than the rest of the videos because I want to address a very interesting and very important question related to programming getting started guide. So in the last four days or so, I received almost eight to 10 emails asking almost the same question. And this is kind of a myth going on in all over the globe, especially in the part of India. This is a myth which I really want to eradicate at all. So recently I got an email that I want to get started with Java and Android development, but I'm not good in C. Can I continue? Another one of the emails said that I want to get started with the JavaScript and I'm totally interested in web development, but I don't know how to program in C. Can I get started? Now, are these statements any meaningful? How much truth is behind the statement that if you want to get started with any programming language, the first thing that you need to do is to learn C. How much is the concept going on? All of this coming up in this video. Stay tuned. When I received the email that says, I want to get started for building Android apps and I want to learn Java, I really feel happy for those students because they are very clear in their mind that what they want to do. And this is absolutely amazing because if you want to get started with Android and you want to go with the Java, that's really a great path and you already know what you want to do. Of course, that can be evolved a lot with other professional great things like designing, the best practices and a lot of things, but still you are on a great path and I love this. I love these kinds of emails. Similarly for iOS development, you already know nowadays that you want to get started with the Swift and you want to learn iOS development with that. So these are great emails, but the problem is with a lot of students ask me that I'm not good in C. So do you really think that to get started with any language you need to learn the C first? Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have any personal regrets or personal enemy kind of thing with the C, but it's a complete wrong notion. And this is a myth which has been coming from over a decade now. And I would think that somehow not up updating the curriculum by the universities is one of the main reason of this kind of a myth. Now, a lot of universities, especially in India, goes with the curriculum like in the first semester, you need to go and get started with the C. In the second semester, you will get started with the C++ and then comes the Java and then any other language. Now, this is a complete myth. Now, in order to get started with any language, you can directly get started with any language. Yes, that's the truth. The problem that you're gonna face uh, in solving particular problem in Java, that's gonna be the same problem that you will be facing in the C, C++, JavaScript, Swift, PHP, anything, pretty much anything. And yes, uh, this is completely true that a C actually holds a lot of domain there and a lot of language share the syntax from the C, but that doesn't mean you have to get started with the C all the time. This is completely a wrong notion. If you look at the universities, like especially uh, the Hong Kong universities and Harvard's and all those big guys, big names, shiny names, all of these are changing their curriculum. They are now getting started with Python and especially uh, the South universities in the Southern part of the India are now getting started with the Python, some getting started with JavaScript, some even getting started with the Swift. That's a complete good thing. And to be honest, I would like to say that don't get stuck with the thing that to learn any programming language, you have to get started with the C. Uh, yes, you if you learn C, you will definitely get help uh, in other languages because uh, C shares a lot of syntax there, but to be honest, if you learn Python, you will uh, get help in a lot of languages like Ruby. If you learn PHP, the, the knowledge of the PHP is surely going to help you in learning the Swift as well. So it, it's completely a wrong notion. I don't know from where it, it got started, but all the language that you learn also supports you to learn other languages as well. Yes, it's a good getting started point of the C, but to be honest, if you'll ask me, if somebody says, hey, I want to get started in web development, I'm interested in WordPress or something, I would say, hey, don't spend your time in C. I would say, spend your time in learning PHP, JavaScript, that's gonna help you and directly get started with that. So if you're interested in, let's just say game development, why are you wasting your time in learning the C? Instead, learn Unity. Unity 3D is gonna be the best if you want to get started with the game development. So do a lot of research and again, I personally know a lot of programmers who have worked even in the Call of Duty structure and a Call of Duty mobile games and they don't know how to code in the C. Of course, they know the syntax, but they haven't done any good project or big scale project in that. And they're pretty massive 
and kind of a superstar in the game development out there. So pretty much to be honest, I hope you got my point that to get started with any language, just directly get started with that language. Stay there and spend some time. And one more thing that I would like to say that I have seen in the past people that who want to get started with the Android, but now they want to learn programming. So they are getting started with C, C++, and then they are jumping into Java. To be honest, almost 80 to 85% of those people who get started with these kinds of line drop the programming in between because this is a long journey. And in that journey, you don't get any product so that you can feel proud on it. Like you don't get even a hello world app on your mobile with the C. So if the product is not going to be in your hand uh, and you are interested in app development, that's going to be a complete waste of time and chances are high you're going to drop programming in between. So my advice would be don't get stuck with any language and choose your choose your programming language very wisely. If I want to design iOS app and I'm learning Java to design so that uh, that would be completely wrong. You already know that. And I'm really happy that students are getting so much advanced and so much smart that they know the programming language, what they want to learn to design something specific. So that's a good news that people and community are going to the right direction. Okay, I have ranted quite a lot about the C. I don't have any personal grudge with the C. In fact, it's a great programming language for the research purpose, for the hardware level, for exploit writing and a lot of such things. But again, there is always an, always an implementation for a particular language and you should always take care of that. With this, I'll catch you up in the next movie. Till the meantime, I expect that if you like this video, make sure that you click the like button in case you don't liked it. No hard feelings, I'll try even better next time. And if you think that somebody can get benefit from this movie, make sure that you share it. Catch you up in the next video.